Okay, we're back in RX-8, and we're going to be opening up these audio clips one more time. The reason why is because there was a request that came through as to wanting to see what these audio clips would look like if I did the RMS reading as opposed to the uh, to the peak level. And so that's a fair, that's a fair thing to do. So let's go ahead and, and look at this again, the same way as we did before, but we're going to start over here. And because all of them are basically the same length here, I'm going to standardize looking down here again at length. I'm going to standardize about 30 seconds. One, ooh, I got that. I got lucky on that one. Look at that. And we're going to look at the waveform stats. So this will tell us what the average sound level is for 30 seconds. And that was in a total RMS level right there of negative 93.22. So that's what it is, negative 93.22 for this 30 second gap of thermal noise. And then if I come over here, this is the sound speeds cable that we're looking at here, negative 93.21. So wait a minute, 22 and 21. So basically the total RMS level was uh, actually slightly, wait a minute, 93, 93. Okay, so it is the same. So no, that's 20. Oh, so Okay, so it changed a little bit. So roughly it raised by like one to three hundredth of a hundredths of a dB. So by running through an actual cable, it lowered ever it lowered ever so slightly. Now let's look at the monoprice. And we're going to again standardize uh 30. Where is 30? Uh link this 30 right there. Okay. Now we're gonna actually center it on the 30. Okay, this is the thermal noise where I, I should just go ahead and I mean, we lost a little bit. Go back up to 30. Okay, ooh, 30 again. Exactly. All right, so negative 93.21. So that's the same as it was for the sound speeds cable, but now we're going to grab it and just move it over there. So, ooh, look at that. It dropped like 13 decibels. So there you go. <laughs> There's the monoprice cable, and this is with the Fed head. So let's grab another 30 seconds here. And that is roughly 30 seconds. And we're at negative 93.21. So basically straight, you know, comparing it to, you know, coming straight out of the microphone, then boosting it up, the levels are all pretty much consistent, but then running it down through the cable, negative 93.15. So you see there's the cable matters with no interference at all. It does a pretty good job holding up. It's only five tenths of a one hundredth of a dB. Uh, behind the sound speeds cable. So there you go. The the This is actually a pretty good response there. It's a pretty good uh, level. So let's look here at 30 again. Oh, we're going to be pushing on this one. So let's back it up over there. Negative 93.17. So that's pretty much on par with everything else. And we're going to go over here. Let's go and, and, and go on the other side of that. And now we're at negative 79.11. So this is the Amazon Basics one is clearly the worst performer out of the entire thing. You just you're not going to get good audio uh, performance wise out of it. I mean, it dropped with a Fed head tremendously. So let's look at 30 seconds here. This is the uh, DM1 finally moving on to that. And let's choose 30 seconds. Man, got lucky again. 30 seconds exactly. And this was the noise, the thermal noise and stuff like that of the DM1. So we have a little bit of a noise floor there. And this is at negative 86.28. So negative 86.28. Now let's drag it over here and look at the sound speeds cable. Negative 86.37. Wait a minute. So did it actually drop? It removed a little bit of background noise? 86.38. Let's look over here one more time. Two eight, so yeah, it actually did drop ever so slightly by about. The, it actually lowered the noise floor by about a tenth of a dB. So negative eighty six, negative thirty eight. Yeah, so so there you go. It actually there's a sound speeds cable the way that we know it. So probably by dropping out of that low frequency, which is maybe about sixty hertz or something like that, it by dropping that out, it lowered by about a tenth of a dB. Kind of cool. All right, so let's go ahead and get our 30 seconds out of this monoprice cable. There we go. And let's see, monoprice negative 86.25. And then we're going to skip past the noise, negative 84.87. So let's see, 86.25, 84.88. So it basically... Uh, what is that? About one and a half dB, something like that. And then let's look at the cable matters here. So this one here before it had about the same 
same performance as the sound speeds cable with no RF issues. So let's go ahead and snug it over there because we have a little bit of an outlier there. Negative 86.37 and then negative 86.33. So it's not dropping the noise level. It's slightly increasing, but only by four hundredths of a dB. So that's, and it's consistent across the board, which is what we expected to be over a 30 second long sample. Pretty good for a no noise environment. So let's do the last one here, which is, where's our 30 seconds? And 30 seconds right there, negative 86.29. So I'm gonna go over there, get rid of that outlier, negative 86.29 and negative 84.54. So yeah, it's, it's pretty consistent results here. Uh, it's a lot better performance than it was over here, the, the Amazon Basics cable over here. That was just garbage. I mean, that 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 like is, it picked up so much noise. But this over here with the DM1, it did not do nearly as bad a performance. Even though we still have those lines in there, it did not, it didn't do nearly as bad, which is awesome. So it only dropped, you know, if you're going to use the DM1, I mean, I still wouldn't recommend using the Amazon Basics with the Monoprice. The Cable Matters is going to be a much better cable. Uh, there was somebody who asked me about a Hosa cable earlier. Unfortunately, that was not part of the test. I didn't, um, think of that brand when I was trying to think of the three the three cables that I wanted to test against. So anyway, hopefully this provides some insight to you if you were curious as to the, uh, the RMS level over a 30 second long sample on all of the cables that we tested in the last video and in uh, with the uh, Dynamite DM1 from SC Electronics and the Triton Audio Fethead.